For six months I've been developing my indie VR survival game. Hundreds of hours of coding, modeling and designing turned a silly idea into something kinda playable. The problem is that there is no problem. I'll explain. When you usually venture to make a game, you write yourself a very detailed plan. What's the backstory? Who's the antagonist? Who's the protagonist? What's the environment? Ultimately, what's the meaning of life inside your shitty game? And only then, you lock yourself from society, open Visual Studio and spiral down the crippling depression of indie development. What I did was the exact opposite. Let's go back in time for a year. I saved up enough money to get an Oculus Quest 2 and headed straight into VR game development, which at first went... Um... But then I quickly picked up the progress and feeling confident I decided to make a full game, which was a big mistake. My VR player could barely walk, and here is me, without a plan nor intellectual capacity, heading for a AAA game. Beating the world record for burnouts, getting some help from friends, and speedrunning nervous system collapse is how I managed to get this whole thing running. The gameplay is decent, however, there is no storyline or actual goal in the game. You spawn on a random exoplanet and your spacecraft explodes. Why? I don't fucking know. So let's start from the beginning. After some drafting and brainstorming, I came up with the idea of a colonization mission. I decided to create an audio message at the start of the game, which turned out pretty horrifying. First I wrote the script, which I then voiced over, out of a shit ton of effects. But there is also a follow-up message, which comes from a real-life tragic event. I wrote the code to synchronize all of this, and here is the new game opening. Congratulations, SP-201. You are the first human to safely land on Proxima D Centauri. Your mission here is to assess the exoplanet's potential for colonization. Prioritize your safety. But how did your spacecraft explode? An unpredicted meteor shower occurs, which destroys your incoming backup unit SP-202, as well as hitting your spacecraft, leaving you completely stranded. I revamped the meteor shower warning message by improving the design as well as the alarm sound, and now it sets off at the start of the game. The dots are finally connecting, but we still have two unsolved mysteries. What happens when you win the game? and how to play the game so you can win. After the destruction of your spacecraft, if you manage to survive stranded for 10 days, you will live up to be rescued by your main crew. But in this case, I can't just put over some shitty text like you win or you survived. We need an actual rocket landing, so let's 3D model it. Import this thing into Unity, adjust the color and animation, and write code to bring it to life. Then add some cool particles and sound to make it look complete. Finally, we need to teach the player how to play the game. I added an outline to the starter items, hinting to the player they could be stored in the inventory or used for crafting. I also added guide messages suggesting the player how he should progress. To conclude, this is what the game looks now. Congratulations, SP-201. You are the first human to safely land on Proxima D Centauri. Your mission here is to assess the exoplanet's potential for colonization. Your spacecraft contains everything you need for this mission. Prioritize your safety. SP-202 unit is expected to land any minute. The main crew will arrive in 10 days. Oh, my God. 